This week, we're talking about the five love languages from the 1992 book by Gary Chapman of the same title. And those five love languages, in case you've forgotten, are words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. And today we're going to talk about receiving gifts. Now, people will tell you that it's good to get a gift. It's great to get a gift. Get to, great to get something that you didn't earn. And then there's another camp that says it's better to give than to receive. And guess what? They're both right. The thing is that the cool part of a gift is that it's something that you receive without any conditions. That's the beauty of a gift. Wages are different because when you work for something, you expect to be compensated. So if you're actually doing something, expecting you're going to get something in return, expecting uh, if you have any expectation, what you receive is not a gift. It's a wage or it's, it's some exchange, uh, some medium exchange. So the thing is, we want to get away from the whole concept of thinking that we have to do something to get something. A gift is simply that. It's something that someone gives you that you either could not get or would not get for yourself or didn't get for yourself. It's something that's that's special and it's from the heart. And one of the awesome things about the love language of, of receiving gifts is also that chances are if you if you like receiving gifts, there's a like a strong likelihood that you enjoy giving them as well. And it's really awesome to experience what it's like to see the expression on someone's face when they receive a gift from you. And that is a feeling or an emotion that we like to basically create in ourselves. So when we give a gift, it's not that we're expecting to receive anything in return, but it's just the mere giving of the gift and seeing the expression on someone's face that does us really good. But listen, here's the thing. Some people have difficulty in receiving gifts. You know, I've always been like, a, as far as with my family, I've been a provider. And so whenever I get a gift, I always feel, a little part of me feels guilty because I'm like, ah, I didn't really deserve this. I'm not worthy and all that. And listen, when you get to the gift, the language of receiving gifts, you put all of that aside and you stop thinking about whether or not this is something that I've earned or not, whether this is something that I deserve or not. You just simply receive the gift. And one of the things that I want to help you to get this love language or to really understand it is think about your life. Every breath you draw, every inhale, Every exhale is a gift. Every beat of your heart is a gift. Everything you see is a gift. Everything you hear is a gift. So when you think about this, you think about life as a gift, and you think about things that, that your things that are just essential to life, water, food. If you think of these things as gifts, right, then it, it's easy to understand how to receive because these are things that, listen, if you have a steady meal, if you have a, a consistent roof over your head, if you have people around you that love you, you are among the wealthiest people in the world. <laughs> and that's amazing. There are many people that would give to have what you have. So this whole thing about receiving gifts, you want to put yourself in a posture to receive. Something that I learned early in life is that to hold on to things loosely. In other words, I approach life with an open hand. I don't approach life with a clenched fist where you have to take things from me in order to get them. And I, and I don't uh, have a clenched fist where I'm trying to snatch things from you. I, walk, I go through life open-handed. This is my posture, my spiritual, my emotional, and, and my intellectual posture is to have my hands open to be in a posture to receive. Why? Because life is a gift. And, and basically everyone around you is a gift. And that's, man, if you catch that, people, people are a gift. 
And when you encounter the presence of another human being, that you are literally receiving a gift. So approach it with your hands open. Now, one thing that I mentioned that every in every video this week, I will talk about the fact that you can be multilingual. In other words, receiving gifts might be a, it might be your your major love language, but also uh, words of affirmation or physical touch, they might be your gifts. And it's okay if you're multilingual. And it's also okay if you're not. You can be, you know, fully fluent in one love language and completely dysfunctional or not functional in, in the rest. And it's okay. Don't beat yourself up because we are all created to love and to be loved and to be loved. <laughs> so, if we're all created to do this, it doesn't matter whether or not we get every gift or more gift than the other. And listen, it's not a competition. Love is collaborative. Love is not competitive. And so when you get this also, that you, you'll also see that, hey, these uh, connections that you make, that they're collaborative and not competitive. And when you start seeing that, you see other people, you see other situations, you see circumstances themselves, no matter what they are, whether they're good or bad, that they are a gift to you. Because it, listen, I always tell my sons this too. I hate to say, so I don't want to sound like a parent, but it's this, that I, I don't tell them sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. I tell them sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. And basically, even when you're winning, you're learning. So the thing is, we're always learning and, and everything that you learn, every new bit of information, everything that you can embrace and use to advance yourself is a gift. So learn to receive that gift. And I hope this has been a gift to you. And uh, I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Glad you tuned in. Hope to hear from you soon. If you like this video, please like and subscribe here. And I will see you on the other side of forward.